Hi, let's take a look at our newest member of our RSS widgets. So we have the RSS ticker, which only displays text from your feeds. We also have the media RSS, which is kind of uh, advanced. It is um, very customizable in regards of layout, colors, the content, and how that content is played in general on the TV. The, the new member here is a regular straightforward RSS reader. It will display text and photos in different kinds of ways and in the design that, that you want. In this case, we have added a new slide. We have added the RSS reader widget we have maximized the reader so it's displayed on the full TV. We've changed the background color and right now I'm trying to find a valid RSS feed. It will find whatever you search for automatically. I am searching for LA Times and let's pick the world news from the LA Times. So of course in addition to your feed URL uh, which is automatically put in when you, you search and pick. You can change a couple of parameters. You can assign it so it fits your uh, corporate identity or the rest of your content. You have uh, the font, the color of your text, um, bold. You can, of course, use the, the color picker. You can uh, change the alignment of the text. Uh, and the next one, updating interval, is for how many seconds between each slide that represents one feed. So if we set that, for example, at five seconds, you'll see a new feed every five seconds. In addition, you can zoom on your font, which is great if you have RSS feeds are, of course, different and some will contain a lot of text. Some will not contain a whole lot of text. If you're running feeds like these, you might want to zoom on the font so that the RSS reader actually fills out more on your TV. You can also toggle on and off if you want the time to be displayed or not. You can pick the language. Um, and the last part here, the transition, is how do you flip between your feeds? And there are a couple of fun uh, transitions in here. And of course, we always advise that you Try them out um, and find whatever suits your purpose the best. Last one, not least, is how we display the content. The normal would be text on the left side and a photo on the right side. You can, of course, reverse that or you could pick the random and the widget is going to toggle between normal and reverse. Of course, as with any other widget in place editor, you can add multiple elements on the same slide and you can have multiple widgets on the same slide. So in this case, you could just simply resize your RSS reader and add other content. It could be a header, it could be a photo. You can actually use the RSS reader also in multiple zones. In this case, I am going to use the RSS ticker and of course same as the RSS reader I can customize my font I can change the color of the text the font size um, I can change how many entries I want to add and so forth mm -hmm. 